Thank you for tuning in to Home Cooking by Liz O.C. Today's recipe, I'm going to do an apple crumble bars instead of the blueberry. I've done this recipe with the blueberries. It's so delicious. It's just that we're in the winter season and blueberries are not in season right now. So I don't, I avoid buying blueberries around this time. Uh, so I have the Macintosh apples. Uh, when I bought them, they were pretty good. Like, they weren't bruised, so it's been a couple of days, and it doesn't take long for it to get uh, bruised up or, or something. I don't know why. Ripened, I guess. Um, so I'll be cutting away from that. So I'm going to take the apple cake recipe that I posted on um, on my YouTube channel. I think it's a quick apple cake recipe. I will use the apple filling mixture recipe for this. I will be cutting up the peeling and coring and, and chopping, dicing up the apples for the recipe um, and combining my own take. So I'm taking the recipe filling from the quick apple cake and then the blueberry crumble bars. I'm using the dough part putting that together and calling it my apple crumble bars. I've made it a few times and it's really good. So at this moment, I'm just cutting them up um, bite-sized pieces because they're gonna cook down anyway, right? So I didn't wanna go too thin on cutting them. And right now I already put in um, lemon, uh, two teaspoons of lemon because um, this recipe says three medium tart apples, which I have the Macintosh. So I if I, I have seven apples here. So I doubled the uh, lemon juice, putting two teaspoons opposed to just one. I mixed in the cinnamon and sugar and lemon. Since uh, there's seven apples here, I doubled the ingredients. Okay, let's look here. So toss apples in bowl with lemon juice, two tablespoons of sugar, um, cinnamon, which is two teaspoons. Not, see that can confuse and you might think two tablespoons. So it's, or two, ta yeah, two tablespoons, but it's actually two teaspoons. And then you mix it around. Dough will be coming up next. I just finished uh, zesting two lemons. So there's the zest there. Um, and it's gonna ask for three cups of flour, one cup of sugar, baking powder, uh, and mix in salt, lemon zest, and then using a large uh, fork or pastry cutter and blend in the butter and eggs. Uh, the butter has to be cold, I believe. Yes, so here it says cold butter, two sticks, okay, or one cup. Um, I think, because I've made it before, I've tried the fork, I've tried the cutter. It doesn't, it takes longer. I just use my fingers. So, and then with your warm body temperature does mount, like not melt, but soften the butter. So I'll put it back in the fridge to, to uh, get it cold again and then take it out and then form it into the pan that I will um, show you when I'm ready. So in the bowl, I have the flour mixture from the blueberry crumble cake uh, or bars measured out a cup of uh, butter. So it's a cup of sugar in here as well. Now I'm gonna use my fingers, use the fingers like this and just sort of like pinch it and squeeze it and mix it with flour and carry along like that and it'll form into crumbs. If I find the butter gets too soft, I will put it back in the fridge and then, you know, get it cold again. And then from there, I lined a nine by 13 baking pan with uh, parchment paper. 
So I'll carry on with using my fingers to crumple it. And then I will show you the next step. And I do have one egg that I will be putting into this dry mixture. All right, now the butter is pretty much crumbled into the flour. I'm trying, I'm just using one hand to do this so you keep the other hand clean so you, you're not out constantly washing your hands to touch something else. And now I'm gonna crack the egg into this as well and blend that into this mixture. It still feels pretty cold, so I don't, I don't think I'll put it back in the fridge. Okay, so the egg's in there. I'm going to just throw over some flour and then sort of break it, uh, break it open type of thing. Uh, yeah, so then your hands don't get too wet with it. So yeah, just blend it around. Okay, the egg is blended into the flour mixture. And now the blueberry crumble bar recipe says to half the dough. And then like, so half goes in the, as the base. And then the other half will be the crumble part on top. Get this all in here. Well, the ones I made in before, I used to double the the dry ingredient because I just couldn't picture it um, filling up this nine by thirteen pan. So you want to spread it out and start pressing it in, and to form a base, a solid somewhat solid base and then it'll cook together anyway. And then the apple filling is going to go on next. And then, yes, yeah, so on top of the apple filling, this will go on top. The apples are in and spread out on the nine by 13 pan over the dough. And now I'm gonna sprinkle the rest on top. So that looks good. This is gonna go into a preheated oven, 375 Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. I will check at maybe like 40 minutes, just before 40 minutes to make sure that um, I don't overcook it. And we'll see when it comes out of the oven. Okay, timer went off at 40 minutes. I checked it, it looks good. I'm happy with it. Uh, I don't want to overcook it because I don't want to dry it out. Uh, so I'll wait until it cools off. I'll cut it up, plate it, and show you how it looks. It smells amazing. The apple and cinnamon. So here's the apple crumble bars. I really like how the apples turned out. This time I cut them a little bigger than usual. Usually I go, I cut, I dice it up a little bit smaller and then I find it does cook down uh, quite a bit. So this time it turned, I mean, each time it turned out fine, but it's good to always test it out, change up the recipe a bit. 
This could be served with ice cream or on its own or with a cup of tea, coffee, hot chocolate. Again, it's great for a potluck um, dessert to take to a family gathering or, or an office potluck. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.